Hi everyone, so I just posted a reading video about how we're, you know, collectively you guys are letting go of old patterns, you're breaking um, past life soul contracts, you know, uh, patterns of dating emotionally unavailable people, you're, you know, working on yourself, raising your standards, you're manifesting new love, you're manifesting someone who's not your usual type, but this person will be a life partner, this person is, is more suited for you than the other person was. So, so you have really beautiful life-changing energy here. And I, I just posted a channel message about that. If you guys want to watch that video, it's up now. And I just wanted to do a separate video so I could pull cards since I didn't really pull any cards in that one. I just channeled. Um, okay, so what is the story right now? What's the story regarding your love life? What do you need to know? What do you need to know? What's going on? I guess that one wanted to come out too. Mutual feelings, emotional depth. Hmm, jealousy, betrayal, and conflict. Taking it slow, getting to know each other. Pulling them in slowly. Magic, intention, and power. Manifestation and power. Um, let's see if I could put this right here. Okay. Choose a path. Put this over here. Clubs, parties, social life, reconciliation, confusion, and uncertainty. Oops, sorry, fairy. Where'd I put you? I'm gonna have to move you. So what I'm getting is that you are going to meet this new person, but you're going to have an ex come back around. Um, I personally wouldn't give any attention to the ex, so, you know, like, for me personally, I don't want any of my exes. I don't even care which one of them come, come, came, try to come back around. I don't want any of them at this point. Like, I'm happy and my energy is so much more clear without any of that toxic energy. So I don't know about you guys, but that's where I'm at. Of course, all of you guys are on different paths, you know, it's not story is not going to be the same for everybody but the general energy that I'm getting here is that you've been trying to manifest true love for a while and I think you're just like on that verge like you're just on that cliff maybe not maybe cliff is not the right word um your breakthrough is like here or it's like coming like you can feel it you can feel that breakthrough life-changing energy right now I think you know and you've been putting you know, this is you, you know, in your magic, reclaiming your power, um, setting boundaries for yourself, manifesting the life that you want using. Maybe some of you are, are starting to really get into magic and really, you know, just recognizing your power to, to manifest and put your intention out in the universe and have the kind of life and love that you want. And you're wanting to manifest this, you know, mutual feelings, emotional depth, this kind of Look at how he's touching her. Look at how they're how they're kissing, how they're looking at each other. Look at that. Like, get into that energy, that that love. You know, there's so many different ways to manifest. Like, you can manifest God, through visualization, through affirmations, through vision boards, whatever. It's like the world is your oyster when it comes to manifestation, you know. You can get weird and creative with it, too. Like, you could do artwork and... and manifest that way i know i was watching a um i think it, I think it was like a what was it like a meme or something i think i saw on on facebook where this woman drew her life partner and she didn't even really mean to draw it she was just i guess she was just drawing someone that she was channeling or you know however it worked and she met someone who looked exactly like her painting um you know, so art is a really powerful manifestation tool, like putting your, that, all that, because that's all your energy, that's just pure passion, pure raw emotion, that's what really manifests more than anything, in my opinion, so, so putting all that energy into your art, and however you manifest, you know, again, the world is your oyster, you manifest how you want to manifest, there's so many different opportunities for you to manifest the life and love that you want, um, just, just manifest in the present moment. That's where a lot of people go wrong. 
is they say, you know, someday I'm going to have the love that I want, or this person is, is coming in soon, soon. So you, you put that energy in of it being someday, it being soon, and then it's just always so close, but just out of reach. So you have to feel it and you have to word it as if you have it in the present moment. So if you're like lighting a candle or you're doing your vision board or painting, imagine that that person that you want, like imagine what their qualities are. Imagine what those qualities feel like, having that energy in your life. Imagine what their energy feels like. Imagine them being in the room with you while you paint or while you light the candle. Imagine them right there with you already loving you. Um, if you do, if you're doing like candle spells and you're doing petition papers, you know, write down like, be clear and direct and just to the point and you know, don't put too much, don't put any conflicting energy in there, just put just very direct. But, um, you know, word it as if you have it in the present moment, like, thank you. I'm so happy that I have this, this true love now. I'm so happy I have this person that's emotionally available and that wants me and is pursuing me. Like, imagine that you know imagine what they look like what they what they sound like what they smell like what they feel like you know imagine that energy visualize it and word it as if you have it in the present moment that is what makes it manifest in the present moment so really make sure that you stay away from words like someday or soon because that's always going to put that energy just a little bit out of your reach um so i just wanted to tell you guys that about manifestation really quick anyway i'm sorry for rambling <laughs> but yeah, you're, you're, you know, I think you've been putting that energy out in the universe that you want this true love. You want these mutual feelings. You don't want to always be chasing people. You don't want to always, you know, give more love than you receive. You want the emotional depth and the closeness and the romance, you know, look at this, like, it's like young love. It's like, it's this passionate relationship and you're manifesting that. And I think you're going to manifest all at once. I think that like, maybe there was some, maybe you were manifesting a lot and there was just something that was kind of like blocking you a little bit. But this block has either just been or is about to be removed. Like, I think you're figuring out what that block is and you're about to remove it. And when you do, it's going to be like a flood just pouring in at once. Just like this, like, flood of love coming in all at once. And I think that you're going to have this new person coming in. And then I think you're going to have one or maybe even more exes coming back around, too. Because it's like all this energy and this intention that you've been putting in over the months or years is just going to manifest in a pretty short period of time once that block is removed it's like it's been building up and it's like the dam is just about to break and it's all going to just come pouring in for you um that's the energy that i get at least you know you know take what resonates leave what doesn't you know it's either your story or it isn't so uh yeah i remember you know years ago i i have given so much energy to men that i wish i had never given any energy to because they just were not worth it in the end um, and, you know, anyone who's not there, anyone who's not emotionally available for you is not worth it, you know? Anyone who's not sure of you, anyone who's not sure that they want you is just not worth it. Why would you want that? You want your other half. You want someone who's going to love you fully, you know what I mean? And I remember someone telling me, um, this older one was telling me years and years ago when I was in this phase where I was depressed and I was obsessing over someone that wasn't even worth any of my time, I realize now and I wish I hadn't wasted time with him, but... But, in, you know, in that moment, I, I was depressed over it. And she was saying, you know, when you, when she really started focusing on herself, like she got excited about like her entrepreneurship and her, you know, her career, her hobbies, her passions, just all the things that she loved. That's when all her exes came back around. Like they could feel that energy shift. They could feel that, you know, they didn't have her on lockdown anymore. They could feel that she had a life outside of them. They could feel her taking her power back. And they all came in at once, but she didn't want them. Like, she was over it at that point. You know what I mean? She's like, well, it's nice that, you know, it's nice to see that they that I'm wanted. It's nice, to, it's nice to have that energy shift. But she's like, I didn't want them at that point. I was like, you know, like her pattern had changed. Like, she wasn't attracted, she wasn't attracted to those type of people anymore. She wasn't attracted to emotionally unavailable men anymore. She wasn't falling for the excuses or the apologies or the half-ass like oh I should have done more or whatever it's like well you should have yeah you should have and you had your chance you don't have it now <laughs> like you know like she she just didn't want that energy in her life anymore she was just so over it she was she she had changed her pattern and you know she wants she wanted someone that was that knew what he had when he had it you know and I think 
that it just that I'm I'm brought back to that because it reminds me of the energy that you guys are in right now, where it's like you're kind of really you're ending these patterns, and I think your exes are going to come back around, and I think you're going to surprise yourself because you think that I mean I think some part of your soul is holding space for them and thinking that you want them back, but I think when they actually finally finally get their shit together and come back around, you're not even going to be attracted to them anymore. Like you're not even going to look at them the same way. You're just going to be like, eh, like, no thanks. Like, <laughs> you know what I mean? Like your, your, your patterns can change so drastically. Like you can just be attracted to a totally different type of person than you've been attracted to before. Like I think about like the abusive relationships I was in when I was younger and I'm like, how, how did I like, how was I not disgusted by this, per like by those people? Like, how was I not, you know, like it's such a turnoff now. I won't even entertain it. I won't entertain anything less than someone who's completely open and completely ready and, and, you know, honest with me and ready to love me the way I deserve to be loved. Like, I don't, I don't even, I look back at my old patterns. I'm like, how did I even, how was I ever even attracted to that? Like real men don't do that shit. How was, I would laugh if, I would laugh at those kind of men now, you know what I mean? Like, I would be so turned off, and I would think they were such a joke. Like, I would not even be able to feel a thing for them now. And it's like, you know, your patterns can change. They really can. You know, you're not, you're not stuck. Sometimes it takes more, depending on where you're at, sometimes it takes more work than, than others to get to that point where, um, you know, it depends a lot on your subconscious patterns, too, like how deeply ingrained, like, those childhood patterns that you have are, you know, it's going to be different for everybody, but, you know, you, you really can get yourself to a point where it's like, you just laugh at your exes where you're like, ew, what the fuck was I thinking? <laughs> ew. Like, you will physically even see them differently. Like, you will just not, their energy will just not resonate with you because you'll be so done with all of that. Um, so yeah, I wanted to put that out there that yes, I, I do see your ex coming back around. I don't think you're going to want it when they come back around though. Um, it's the same old, same old story, same old betrayal and conflict, same old control issues. Um, and they're going to be jealous of this new person coming in. They might energetically feel this person coming in. And so they might try to come back around to, to stop you. Um, and you're going to be taking it slow with this new person, kind of pulling them in, getting to know each other. And this person is going to see you that way. Like, see like how seductive and just graceful she is. Like, like this, like a prize right there. That's like a queen right there. That's how this new person is going to see you. Where the old person was just kind of like, eh, take it or leave it. I'm not sure what I want, blah, blah, blah. This new person is going to be like, they're not going to take any risks to lose you. You know what I mean? Like this old person would like, they weren't, they weren't terrified of losing you. It's like they might have been scared of getting hurt a little bit, but it's like they were willing to take the risk of losing you again and again. And this new person is not going to be willing to take the risk. They're going to know what they have when they have it. And they're, they're just, they're not, they're going to see you as a queen or a king, whatever your story is. And they're just, they're not going to risk losing you. They're not going to do any stupid shit to risk losing you. They're going to be there. They're going to be consistent. They're going to be supportive, you know, and you've, you've manifested this. You've been manifesting this for a while. I also kind of see this as, you know, your person, the new person that's coming in is also has, you know, a past similar to yours with betrayal, jealousy, conflict, controlling people. They're also kind of mirroring you in that way where they're also letting go of toxic people. They're also breaking old patterns and manifesting you. It's like what you, it's that roomy quote, what you seek is seeking you. You know, it's like you've been manifesting them. They've also been manifesting you at the same time. You guys have been like mutually praying for this kind of love for a while. And so it's coming in. Um, you might be... <laughs> One of your exes might be trying to, to run into you at like a club or a party or some kind of social event. Like they're trying to like bump into you or they're trying to find some way because maybe they're, they're maybe they're going to thinking about coming to your door or something because like they might be afraid that if they message you, you're going to reject them. So they might come back around and there might be some kind of reconciliation there and confusion and uncertainty like, okay, why, why now? Why didn't you want me when you had me? Why are you here now? You know what I mean? And you're going to have to choose the path. You're going to have to choose between the ex and the new person. Personally, I would choose the new person. Like, I don't think this old person's worth it. It's like they're just finally recognizing your worth because, you know, there's that energy shift where you're not giving them all your time and attention anymore. And it's like, 
you don't want to go back to that same old story with them where they take you for granted when they have you which i think and a lot of them would it's like they want to win you back but once they have you you know what's to stop them from just going back to being relaxed and taking you for granted and just doing their own thing again you know what i mean and you don't want to mess things up with this this new person this life partner because they're going to be just they're going to be so much better for you than this other person is so it's it's really not worth risking messing this true love up for for the old person um any final messages any final messages here hidden truth fear of commitment finances and career planning their approach choosing their words wisely and then risk reward bold gesture choosing love over fear you think the truth is going to come out regarding this old situation um it could be just something that you haven't been told that you're, you're about to find out it could also just be the truth that you know they are afraid of commitment that maybe you're going to get more of more insight into why they've been that way they've been focusing on their finances and career but they are thinking about you know choosing their words wisely planning an approach coming in with um you know making some kind of bold gesture towards you but again is it worth it because i feel for some of you maybe it is but for a lot of you i personally would probably choose the new person i wouldn't you know what I mean? It's like you want somebody who knows what they have when they have it. But but yeah, that is the story. It's up to you. It's your path. Um, they've been kind of bur um, burying themselves in finances and career. And I think the truth, the, that hidden truth is that, you know, they're more emotional than they let on. They've just been trying to distract themselves and, and stay busy and you know maybe maybe it was just really intense for them but i don't i don't know if it's worth it show me the new person show me the new energy though so it just seems like more excuses to me you know what i mean but it's with the new person spying end of a pattern breakthrough freedom shyness fear of rejection isolation loneliness emptiness Happiness, warmth, light. So to me, this is like, yes, you can accept the ex's excuses, but you have another chance with this new person to like break this pattern of having to spy to figure out what your ex is doing or having them spy on you and constantly like having them not want you unless they're losing you or... Um, just all their excuses all their bullshit like all the the spying the having to spy you know what i mean why do you have to spy why can't you just have a real relationship where you can openly communicate and just be with each other you know what i mean like why do they have to make it so complicated um so yeah you have a chance to like not have to spy anymore this is what this i take these two cards together like end of a pattern cycle breakthrough freedom like you see this bird coming out of her chest it's like you're ending that's part of that pattern part of that soul contract maybe even is spying is having to like just just never knowing what's going on with them never knowing how they feel never you know what i mean like having to to watch psychic readings to figure out what they feel because they're not being open and honest with you you know you have to spy to try to figure out if they're dating somebody new what's going on with third party situations um how do they feel you have to like try to read back between the lines and it's just exhausting it's exhausting that you have to do all that that you have to put so much effort in just to get the bare minimum from this person you're not even getting the bare minimum right now you know, you probably won't even be getting the bare minimum until they really feel like they're losing you. And right now they just take you for granted. Um, I mean, depending on where you're at in your story, that is. But but yeah, you have a chance to end that pattern and be like, you know, screw that. I'm not going to I'm not going to spy on anybody. I'm not going to have to. I'm going to be with somebody who's already sure about me, who already knows that they want me, who already, you know, who chooses me. Like, yeah, relationships can be rough, you know, but you guys should be working through that together. You know, you, you should be communicating. Um, shyness, fear of rejection. So I'm getting that this person, this new person has been hurt a lot. I think they've been rejected a lot. I think that they might be kind of, 
not for all of you, but for a large, uh, like the, the, the majority of you, I feel like this person is kind of a loner type. Like they might only have a few friends, they might kind of keep to themselves. I feel like this person is very, very strong, very independent. Like they might have been, maybe they took care of like siblings or took care of like family members or something when they were growing up. Like, cause I get the energy of someone who's been independent their entire life or like the majority of their life. Like somebody who's kind of just sur had to survive since they were a kid. Somebody who's had like a rough childhood. Somebody who's um, just always been like the stable run one. He's always, he or she has always been a rock for other people. They've always been a strong empathetic support system for other people um is is kind of the energy i get it's a really it's a whenever i tune into this energy i'm like oh this is a sexy energy this is like oh that's like a real man right there or a real woman it's like oh it's just it's somebody who's it's a really good energy oh it's 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 just somebody who's who's strong who's loyal who's got integrity somebody who knows who they are who knows what they want somebody who has a ton he's got so he or she has so much life experience like they've been through so much they've you know probably raised themselves for the most part or probably i mean i just get like something with their childhood where like they had to survive a lot or they had to take care of their siblings because their parents weren't doing it but it's like they didn't let all of that make them bitter like it, it actually made them a stronger person and they're just, they're very experienced. They're just, they're very wise. They're very humble. They're very, um, just very strong, very independent, very down to earth, you know? Um, and this, this is you know, someone who's been hurt a lot. Somebody who could be a little shy, a little bit afraid of rejection. I see like a loner type, you know, somebody who, who doesn't trust too many people. But that's the beautiful energy though, is because with this toxic ex, with the, with the ex, it's like they didn't trust any, any people and they wouldn't trust you either. It's like they decided they, that you weren't worth the risk to them. But with this person, they don't trust very many people and they're, they kind of keep to themselves, but they're, they're going to choose you. They're going to recognize how different you are and how you're worth the risk. And so they're not going to be fighting their feelings for you. They're going to be opening up to those feelings. You know what I mean? Like they're going to realize everybody's afraid of getting hurt. That's why it's like... It's a bullshit excuse for a man or a woman to say, like, I'm scared of getting hurt, I'm damaged, blah, blah, blah. It's like everybody's damaged. Look at how the world is. Everybody is afraid of getting hurt these days. It's no excuse to hurt other people. And so that's the energetic, that's one of the, a big energetic difference between the toxic ex and, and this new person is, you know, they're both afraid of getting hurt. But this new person is choosing you. They're realizing that you're worth it, that you're worth the risk of pain. They're realizing what they have when they have it. They're, they're going to put that effort in for you. I think with, I see somebody too who's, I don't think this would be somebody who's unemployed. I feel like this would be somebody who's like running their own business or like a manager or some kind of leadership position or somebody who's like at the very least employed, you know. This is somebody who's worked hard for everything, worked hard and bled for everything that they have. And they, um, they're just very self-disciplined, very strong, very, very loving and very empathetic too, though. It's like they have the best of both worlds. They're very masculine, but they're very feminine too. Like they know how to be soft and gentle and empathetic and loving. And it's just, it's such, oh, it's such a sexy energy that I get from this, from this group of, of people that's coming in for you guys. And I just think, you know, having to survive on their own and just be so independent their entire lives, it's like they're, they are tired, you know, they're exhausted. And I think your ex was like spiritually kind of lazy. And this person is like a hard worker. Because they're, it's kind of that pattern they have too. Where they're like they're used to having to work hard for everything that they have in their life because they've been on their own their whole lives. Um, so they're gonna want to work hard for you when when you come around when this when this un when this you know meeting happens or union or whatever it might be. They're they're gonna want to take you on a date. They're gonna want to get to know you and and spend time together. They're gonna they 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 have a strong worth work ethic. So they they recognize that anything worth having is is worth you know putting energy and effort into and and so they're not going to be lazy when it comes to your connection they're actually going to be messaging you and planning dates and 
you know, trying to do right by you. It's, it's a really, it's just a, oh, it's a sexy, sexy energy, definitely. Um, but yeah, they feel isolated and lonely and empty, I think, around most people. Like, they have a hard time connecting with a lot of people. Um, just kind of, someone who's very emotionally deep, someone who's very, um, just very, very strong, though. Like, I don't sense insecurities from this person, really. I sense that they know who they are. They're just, they're tired and they're, they're, you know, damaged and they're, um, they've been through a lot, but it's like, I don't sense any toxic kind of energy from this person. Like, I don't, I don't sense any kind of control issues. I don't sense insecurities. I don't sense, um, like, a, I don't sense like a strong competitive kind of energy, like, or jealous energy. I sense like a pretty relaxed energy. It's just like, they're very, um, they're just, they're very strong. They just, they really know who they are and what they want. And they're, they're a very strong person. They've just been through a lot and they, they've had to do it all on their own. And, and so you are going to be like this light in their life. Like they're angel when you, when you guys meet, because it's like, they've felt alone and they felt like they have such a hard time connecting with people. They just feel kind of isolated from the world. But like, this is somebody who probably works a lot because I get like a leadership position and I get like just somebody like this kind of person would be more likely to have their own apartment like he or she could have roommates but I kind of feel like this is like more of like an energy where they would like want to have their own place like they just kind of keep to themselves kind of are slow to trust new people um you know just very very independent but yeah, when you when they come in, it's like, or when you come in, it's like they're gonna see you as like you know happiness, their, their happiness, the warmth, the light. It's like you give them a safe space to just be themselves. You know, the world has been cold and cruel and lonely towards them, and and with you, it's like they they have a chance to just to rest and just you know maybe tap into like a fun, free spirited side of themselves and let their guard down in ways that they can't with other people. So it's a really, it's a true love story here. It's really beautiful. So please just consider this when the, when the toxic ex, ex comes back around, please consider it because you're, you don't want to miss this other opportunity. Like this is, this is worth a thousand times more than the ex is. It really is. It's worth so much more than the ex. So anyway, that's where you guys are at. Um, if this resonates, please go ahead and subscribe. And I do private readings as well. My contact info is below. Thanks for watching.